St Lawrence's had enjoyed several centuries of improvement and conservation, largely paid for by the Ludlow Palmers, and by 1520 the group were at their most powerful and wealthy. But trouble was just around the corner. Around this time, Martin Luther was bringing his new ideas to the world, which included questioning the very idea of purgatory. If they didn't need saving from purgatory, why waste their money? By 1551, the Ludlow Palmers were no more, and so began a long period of neglect for St Lawrence's. This time, known as the Reformation, not only saw a great reduction in the number of clergy, but also a transformation of the appearance of churches like St Lawrence's. Beautiful frescoes that once adorned the building were removed and the walls whitewashed. Chantry chapels were dismantled and the stones and woodwork sold off. Without the Ludlow Palmers, St Lawrence's had perhaps lost their champion. By the Georgian period, attendance at church was less vigorously enforced than in previous times and the people of Ludlow perhaps spent more time and money on the popular promenading around the town. But new features did continue to be added during this period, including new galleries over the north and south aisles and the magnificent organ presented by the Earl of Powys. Some conservation work was also done with the rebuilding of the nave roof structure. Look out for the date on the ceiling. But even then, St Lawrence has had many roles other than as a house of prayer, with parts of the church being used to store the town's fire engines. <laughs> Whatever next? For almost the next 100 years, the church sadly fell into a state of neglect. With no one group charged with the conservation of St Lawrence's, things started to go badly wrong for the building. In the next episode, we'll see how the Victorians brought back restoration to St Lawrence's carrying on the work started by the Ludlow Palmers over 300 years before.